Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Mars Clipia, and today I'll be teaching you how to draw my own characters. Now, this is going to be my um, form of content whenever I'm not doing anything, you know, super busy from now on, because, well, uh, I've been... I've been posting a lot of stuff lately because I've been too focused on, you know, in real life stuff that involves, you know, my family, school, and etc. I do apologize for that, but like the rest of you, I'm a human being, you know? So this is going to be my, you know, uh, my form of content whenever I'm not doing anything big uh, in real life, you know? Anyway, let's get to it. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to draw my mascot for my YouTube channel. Um, you probably see him already in my previous videos. Today, we're going to draw the one, the only, Bailey the Bunny. I'm pretty sure you guys have been wanting to do this for a while. So, the way's finally over. Let's, but first, before we start drawing, I'm going to tell you guys the number of materials you needed. Let's get right to it. Now, you only need these materials. You need your sketching pencil. Sorry. Your sketching pencil. Your sharpener in case you need to um, sharpen your pencil. And your eraser. These are just the basic necessities when sketching out a certain drawing. To make your character pop a little more, you need your marker, like a sharpie I have here, or your pen. Now, the use of these materials depends on how, you know, big you're going to draw. Like, if you're going to draw something big, uh, it's best to use a sharpie. If you're drawing something small, it uses, you might as well use a pen. Also, here's a quick tip. If you're drawing on a clipboard that contains a stack of paper, and if you're, um, inking, you might as well need to remove that paper you're drawing away from that clipboard and place it on another surface for you to draw on. Because, um, some, in some cases, well, actually, some or most cases, um, you might as well, you might find that, you might find out that the ink and the markers and or the pen going through the going through to other papers you don't want to do that because you want to use you know that paper and that paper might as well have to go to waste uh, yeah this is a little tip I'm giving you if like I said if you want to um, use if you want to save paper take that drawing take that drawing you want to draw out of that clipboard a stack of paper to keep on using that stack of paper uh, this tip will surely help you, not only with, um, not only with drawing, but also being resourceful with your materials. Anyway, that's it for the inky materials. Now these materials here, they're optional. You don't really have to color your drawing, but if that's what you want, this is for you. You can draw. You can color using either crayons, color pencils, watercolors or marker. Also with watercolor, I'd be really careful to use them if I were you because um, you most of the time you're gonna be probably drawing on printer paper and watercolor is not really good with printer paper because it will actually make the paper tore apart while it's being wet. And uh, you also had to use like a special watercolor paper you can get from any store in order to do that. You with this with with this um being resourceful with with a stack of paper like I said with a marker, uh you're gonna have to do the same with the watercolor since it's a water based, you know, paint. Anyway, that's it for the colored materials. Now let's get started with the drawing. Alright, let's get started with the drawing. Sorry if my camera was a little wobbly at first. I just found this, uh, camera in my mom's, you know, basement. I know it looks super, super old, not only with the quality, but also the aspect ratio that you, uh, noticed. 
normally I have 16 by 9 screen ratio, but since this camera is from 2009 and it still works in 2024, it's just, you know, baffling, you know? At this point, it would have, like, died off, but I guess I'm lucky since I can now make... I can record myself on the computer now, I guess. Um, but I do apologize for the bad quality that this camera has, kind of. I'll probably upgrade to a better camera soon, but... Anyway, let's get started the drawing. First, you're going to use your sketching pencil. By the way, this is a, this is a sketching pencil. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, this is a sketching pencil. This pencil is super, super great when it comes to drawing, because... Um, I, I would draw the number two pencil, the number two pencils you use for school, but they're not really good when it comes to drawing. They're normally, you know, they're normally used to just do, you know, classwork, you know, like exams, quizzes, it's just for you to write. And when you do write, it doesn't really become as dark or as popping as a sketch pencil. Just so you know. So you can get these sketching pencils in, you know, Joanne's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby, just about any art store. They usually go for less than 10 bucks, or if not, less than $5. I got these for less than $5. Anyway, let's get started drawing. First off, you're going to get your sketching pencil and gently draw on your paper, creating a big circle. Doesn't have to look perfectly like mine. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it doesn't look good, but you get the point. Now, um, you're going to create two lines, one horizontal and one vertical. Actually, no, this is horizontal. That's vertical. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to draw your vertical line first. Also doing it gently with your pencil. Now you're going to draw a horizontal line, also gently with your pencil. Now, to draw... So the first thing to draw on this circle here, draw a smaller one on the intersection of the vertical and horizontal lines. That is going to be Bailey's nose. Now for the horizontal line, make two, uh, you know, cheek lines, two cheek lines on each end of the horizontal line, and draw a big curve that connects these um, cheek lines. Now, at the very end of the horizontal, the end of the vertical line. Sorry, um, you're gonna draw like the teeth lining right here, and around that teeth lining, you're going to draw a nice square around it. There we go. Now we're going to draw Bailey's big eyes. Create another two big circles do also doing it gently with your um, pencil draw three eyelashes for each eye and draw the pupil inside the eyes add some shining to the pupils if you like and shade in the pupil the pupils black like Bailey's pupils black now, here's a little fun fact about developing Belly the Bunny back in uh, 2022. Uh, when I was developing the character back then, I was in 10th grade, by the way, when I first developed him. Um, I was going to make Bailey a girl uh, because of the name I chose, but I don't want my target audience to be entirely onto girls. It's because um, I'm more of that type of guy that just wants their creations to be suitable for everybody regardless of their you know gender or age you know so yeah there's a little quick backstory anyway let's get back to it now you're gonna draw Bailey's mouthpiece right here which is like this big elliptical shape underneath Bailey's eyes and now you're gonna draw his mouth let's make him look happy in this case. Now draw two circles inside the eye, inside the mouth. That's gonna be his tongue. Now shade in the inside of Bailey's tongue of Bailey's mouth. 
you're of course gonna have to draw the the uh, addition to Bailey's extended mouth, of course, using like a nice fancy U shape. Now for the ears, you're gonna have to go a little above the eyelashes of Bailey and do big curves like this. There we go. Make another curve in that ear, which is going to be his um, hearing sockets, I guess. Now do the same for the other ear. Now to finish off uh, Bailey's head, make two curves in between the eyes, connecting the mouthpiece. And there you go, you're, that's your head of Bailey. Now for his body, you're going to draw, um, lightly draw a circle like this. Just like so. Oh, I forgot to draw his whiskers. Draw three small lines, almost like Bailey's eyelashes. Uh, onto each side of his mouthpiece. That's his. That's gonna be his whiskers. This this uh, design is basically based off of, you know, older cartoons back in like the '90s, I guess. Kind of based on Rocco's Modern Life. Um, as soon as you're done, anyway, as soon as you're done with the circle here, I would like draw. A semicircle somewhere in the, somewhere in between, like somewhere in the bottom of the circle, and draw the opening squares like this. Those are Bailey's boxer shorts. We're gonna do his um, hands and feet later. Now I want you to hover over here and draw arches, like small arches, in that are connecting to his shape. That's going to be his cottontail. Um, now, you're going to draw two small circles and a big line that each connect to the body, like this. Let's make him, like, excited, you know? Let's make Bailey excited. Draw out uh, four ovals for each of the hand, each of the circles. That's going to be his hand. And make them do, you know, uh, do hand gestures, like this one here. Like he's presenting something. And there you go, that's his hands. Make this, make his body a little bit bigger by drawing between the head and the shorts. And for his belly, draw another oval, like this, and two curved lines, like this. That's his belly button. It's kind of inspired by Patrick Starr's belly. Now his boxer shorts, he has like a like a plaid, like a plaid pattern for his boxer shorts, which is actually makes him unique. Um, I was gonna make Bailey have white polka dots and on his like red boxer shorts, but I'm afraid that looks too much like Mickey Mouse, and I don't want to get sued by Disney if I want to use Bailey, you know, commercially. So I had to switch over to the checkered version of the boxer shorts, which was a pretty smart move to do, because I don't want it to evolve like a meeting with the big boys. <laughs> now, for the feet of Bailey, you're going to draw two ovals, like that, make sure they both look alike. Now, and draw two lines that connect from the feet to to the shorts. 
Ah, uh, you know what? My bad. You know what? My bad. Don't do it like this. It actually kind of looks... It's actually going to look kind of weird, to be honest. <laughs> This is why you need to uh, get back to what you're doing. <laughs> For the feet, draw two ovals like that. Make sure they both look identical. And draw like a small line that connects from the ovals to the boxers. Darken up the ovals using like a curve and then draw two more curves that finishes off with the oval like this. Those are Bailey's feet. Do the same here. Actually it looks kind of bad. Hold on. There we go. And there you go, you're finished with the with the sketching part of drawing Bailey. Now what you're going to do is to gently erase the sketch you have on here with an eraser. Make sure you don't do it like too fast because you might like damage the paper, like tear it apart. That's the thing with erasers, you gotta be patient with them. Not only that, you might as well not only that, you have to also be gentle when using them, because your eraser can shrink pretty quickly. Almost done. Alright. Clean up the crumbs. That should be it. Now, you're going to get your inking material, um, a Sharpie or a pen, and you're going to start um, drawing what is left over. But wait, before we start, let me just move my clipboard for a second. There we go. Now, when I ink, I like to do it gently to make sure to make it to make it uh, as accurate as possible, make it as perfect as possible. Um, you might as well have to do it slowly as well because you don't want if you do it too fast, the drawing is gonna look pretty bad. You don't want to do that. Also, whenever it's needed to be in black, shade it in black using the inking material. Also, if you're drawing on big, if you're also shading in like big dark places, um, be sure to do it lightly because you don't want to uh, use up too much ink on the Sharpie. And Sharpies do last long, but it just also depends on how long you use them. I, I just bought these uh, Sharpies today, by the way. As you can see, Bailey is starting to pop out a little. That's the that's that's a great thing about inking in or tracing in your drawing. You want people to see what you're trying to visualize, like trying to see in your own mind.
Also, the reason why I started off ma using basic shapes in order to start drawing Bailey because I wanted to make him look the same when I'm drawing him for certain projects like comics or animated short films. Well, I haven't made an animated short film on Bailey yet, but I'm planning to do that soon. Also, just you know, I won't be on YouTube, uh, I won't always be on YouTube due to in real life stuff, just so you know. And there you go. I just inked Bailey. Now, for the coloring part, I like to do this. Color in the etch out like lines that separate from the inked part with the open part. And just ink it gently like that. Not only does it look prettier, but also not only do the colors look prettier that way but they also look more professionally done rather than uh, an 11 year old kid just this hot rather than a 3 year old kid just did that Now that the um, now that the main parts of Bailey is colored, this is where it gets tricky. For the boxer shorts, uh, it has the red and yellow um, pattern. But in this case, I'm using pink instead of red because I like pink. It's sometimes cuter than red. But um, yeah, what I like to do here is to draw is to color in one one diamond here in this boxer short and color another one here. And color another one down here. Do the same for the rest of the for the rest of the boxers. The rest of the diamonds in the boxer shorts. And there you go. I'm finished with the red. Notice how I color everything one at a time. I color everything with using one color at a time. Now I'm using uh, yellow. I like to do that sometimes. So that way I can, you know, get everything done in one shot. Really the only colors of, that Bailey has are red and yellow. The red is used, the red is also used to, um, making the mouthpiece lighter by gently using the red into the mouthpiece to make him look pink sometimes as well as the ears and the belly Alright, I'm almost done here. Don't forget to color in the rest of the boxer shorts with yellow to fill in the other white um, box, white diamonds. And there you go, you have Bailey. Don't forget to sign your drawing by just entering, by just writing your name on it. You can also be creative with your name, by the way. And don't forget to put the date. 
like today is September 15th, 2024. I like to put the month in the year sometimes. And there you go. There you have it, Bailey. Um, so yeah, guys, that's how you draw Bailey. Once you start to get the hang of the drawing skills within my how to draw videos, you should draw in no time. You should draw like a master in no time. Um, if you want to make money off of my Bailey the Bunny character, you have to ask me first via email. If you want to make money off of Bailey because he is protected my copy by my copyright, the moment I created um, Bailey the Bunny, he's automatically protected by my copyright according to modern copyright law. So if you want to make money off the character after you learn how to draw him by this video, you can have to ask me first via email. I'll uh, write down the email in the description of the video below. But anyway, that's how you draw Bailey. Oh, one more thing. If you are using your signature for your drawings, do not forge mine because this is my own version of this. This is my own signature. If you do rewrite this signature in any of your projects, that means that'll tell people that, hey, Marge Clipia made this made this project, even though I even didn't do that project, you know? Um, so just be creative with your signature. It could be just your name or your initials, like parts of your name. It could be whatever. Marjorie Clipia is actually my pseudonym to my real name, which I'll not tell the internet yet to, you know, keep my personal data safe. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's how you draw Bailey. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. Not only to have fun on YouTube when I'm bored, but also like teach people certain things like how to draw my own characters or even other characters like this one. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye bye.